You right there guys, so today I'm going to be going over the new discord slash commands as quickly and most importantly helpful as possible. I'll be using python 3.8 for this video, so let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to go to google and we're going to type discord slash commands pip. We'll go to the top link, we're going to copy this command and then we'll open up terminal and we'll paste that in there and press enter. Next, we're going to go back to Google. We're going to type in Discord portal. We're going to click the top link, go to applications, new application, and then I'm just going to give this a name, dev spot, click create. Next, we're going to go to bot and then click add bot and then yes, do it. Next, let's go to auth2. We'll scroll down a little bit and we're going to select bot and then applications command. We're also going to uh, select administrator here and copy that link. And we're gonna paste that in a new tab. And we wanna select our server, continue, and then authorize, and then just do the capture. And as you can see, the bot is now in our server. So now we're going to create a file called main.py. We're going to import discord from uh, discord import commands. Then from discord underscore slash, we're going to import slash command and then slash context. Next, uh, from discord underscore slash dot utils dot manage command we're going to import uh, create choice and then create option so now let's go ahead and create the client so client is equal to commands dot bot i'm going to set a command prefix here and we're going to set that to exclamation you can do whatever you want let's create a variable called slash and that's slash command and then we need to pass in the client and then we need to make sure sync command is equal to true. Now we're going to go ahead and create the slash command. And all we've got to do is uh, type at slash dot slash. And then we're going to provide a name. It's going to be hello. And then we can also provide a description here. And I'm just going to say uh, just sends a message. Then async def hello. And then we're going to pass in a context, which is the slash context. And then we're just going to await ctx.send and then world. We also need to pass in uh, guild IDs. So guild underscore IDs is equal to, and then let's go back to Discord. And we're going to right click and then copy ID on the server. And then in a list, we're just going to paste it in there like so. You may be wondering what this guild ID is. Um, so basically all you've got to remember is uh, you need to get the ID for each server the bot is in. So that's all that matters. Just remember that. Next, we need to run the bot. So we're going to type client.run and then we're going to pass in token. We've not created this yet. So let's go back to our web browser. Let's go to the developer portal. We're going to go back to bot. We'll scroll up and then we're going to copy this token. And then at the top, we're going to create a variable called token. And then we're just going to paste that in there. I have made a little error up here. This is going to be discord.ext. So let's open up a new terminal. I'm going to type Python 3 main.py and press enter. Let's go back to Discord and you can see that the bot is now online. So now we can go ahead and run that command by typing slash hello. We'll press enter and you can see world. Perfect. So now let's create some options to choose from. So we're going to type options and that's going to be a list. We're going to type create option. We're going to pass in a name. I'm going to set this to option. And then we can also pass in a description, which is just, I don't know, choose your uh, word. 
can also set required to true or false. And we're going to set the option type to six. I'll explain a little bit more about this later on. So now we're going to um, we're going to create some choices. So we're going to type choices. That's going to be a list. And then create choice. And then we'll pass in a name. I'm just going to type world. And then a value, which is just world. And then same again for you. So create choice. Name equal to you. And then value is equal to you. I've just realized I made an error here. This needs to be three. And then we'll scroll down and then we're going to pass in option and that's going to be a string. We'll replace world with option and we need to restart our bot. Let's go back to Discord. And we're going to type slash hello and then we've got options. I'm going to select you, press enter and you can see you. And then we'll do the same for world. Perfect. Let's go to uh, Google and we're going to type discord slash commands. And we're going to go to the official uh, documentation. Go to get started and scroll down a little bit. And you can see these are the option types that we can provide. We was using a string. Next, we're gonna use a uh, user. So let's do that right now. So now we need to get the user ID, but we need to do some changes. I'm gonna change name to get user. I'm gonna replace the description. Now, uh, we'll set the description for uh, create option, select a user. Then we're gonna get rid of these choices and set the option type to six and I'm replacing the uh, command name, get user. And we're gonna change option. Uh, we'll need to set the name to user, then pass in user, and then the user.id. Let's restart the bot. Let's go back to Discord, and we're going to type slash get user, and then we'll select a user, press enter, and then we've got the ID. So this was a quick introduction for slash commands in Discord. If you want to check out more, you can visit the link in the description below for the official documentation. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're close to a thousand subscribers, so it'll be awesome if we can reach that. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.